Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I'm your host Richard and today we are back with Lessons in VGC. Um, now today we're continuing our trek through the harsh weather. We've put on our rain suit and went through the rain and put on our whatever you wear in sandstorms <laughs> and went through the sandstorm. But now we have to endure the harsh heat of summer with the Sun and Fun team. Um, so let's go over this here. Uh, sun teams... I'm going to say this first. Some, te some teams are pretty hard to do, especially in the format right now, because there aren't a lot of Pokemon that uh, take advantage of the sun. And we lost uh, we lost Ninetales, uh, one of the drought users, to actually bring the sun about because of the the format of VGC right now is they have to be native to Kalos, and uh, Vulpix and Ninetales are not. So the only Pokemon we can actually use is Mega Charizard Y. So of course we got Smog here back again, um, and it's got Protect, Heat Wave, Rock Slide, Solar Beam. My favorite set. If you guys have watched the uh, the Experience Share podcast Invitational online Invitational, um, I used these first two Pokemon here and the third one actually. Um, that was mostly a Sun team, but it was a mix of a Sun and Sand. So. Yeah, uh, and I really like that team. Maybe I'll bring it to one of these lessons, but I'm trying to look over things I haven't really worked with yet uh, to kind of learn about them. But maybe towards the end, I'll bring that one back, and we'll see how it works. But anyway, Protect, Heat Wave, Rock Slide, Solar Beam, Rock Slide for other Charizards, Talon Flames, that kind of nonsense. Protect for Talon Flames, Heat Wave because it's Stab and it hits both sides, or both Pokemon on the other side, and Solar Beam because you get to one shot, or not one shot, you get to do it without powering up because you're in the sun then of course we got brutus the venusaur black sludge chlorophyll gets that speed from the sun so we got protect in case we need to waste the first turn so we can get our speed up giga drain sludge bomb and leech seed and of course we got wash rotom here wash rotom's good for talon flame good for azumarill um just all that kind of crazy stuff so our wash rotom has thunderbolt volt switch hydro pump will o wisp citrus berry user and then we have somebody else that actually uses the sun is Trevenant, um, Oroto or Trevenant. Uh, harvest, when it's in the sun, 100% of the time it will reharvest that berry. So we got the Lumberry, and what that does is any status ailment goes away. So we got the Rest, Shadow Claw, Leech Seed, Protect. So if somebody burns us, Lumberry gets rid of it. Poison, Lumberry gets rid of it. Paralysis, Lumberry gets rid of it. Um, but rest also, because if we go to sleep, Lumberry gets rid of it. So we can just rest everything off after they've done all the damage to us. Get our Leech Seed, Protect, Shadow Claw. Um, I have Shadow Claw on here for now. It's worked out pretty well. It's good against, like, Gardevoirs, which, for some reason, I saw a ton of Gardevoirs today. Um, Gardevoirs, other Trevenants if they show up, Gengars. That sort of stuff. And we already have uh, our grass type with uh, Venusaur here. So I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to bite us in the butt like usual, but whatever. And then we have Aim for the Horn right here. Now I was looking for another thing for Talonflame that could actually take a hit from it without a problem. Because um, Rotom takes one, but it still does a ton of damage. Um, so we got Rhyperior. I'm like, hey, I, don't, I haven't used Rhyperior yet. So I was putting it together, and I saw the ability Lightning Rod. Now for those of you who don't know... Charizard gets put down pretty quick by Electricity move. So if we've got Rhyperior and Lightning Rod, it will suck that Electricity move right into Rhyperior, and then we can hit him with a Rock Slide, an Earthquake, a Fire Fang, Crunch. So Rhyperior, why not? I was I was super excited when I saw this. And then I have Hydra the Hydreigon, Choice Scarfed, um, Draco Meteor takes out like Mega Kanga, takes out uh, Garchomps that aren't scarfed. And I usually don't see Scarf Chomp in VGC because they want to be a little more versatile. I, I prefer using Scarf Chomp in VGC. I know it's more of a 6v6 thing, but then people don't really expect it, and you're outspeeding. So it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Um, but that also works with, like, Earthquake from Rhyperior won't get hit. Uh, but how Three of our Pokemon can't get hit from Earthquake from Rhyperior. Uh, Charizard, Rotom Wash, and Hydreigon. So that works out pretty well. Uh, but that is our kind of sun team. <laughs> Uh, I guess only three Pokemon really use the sun, but hey, what are you going to do about it? I mean, Rhyperior gets hit less from Water-type moves, now that he's taken many of them to begin with, because he has barely any special defense. But, yeah. So, that is sun and fun, and I'm going to get a battle here for you guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, everybody, today I am here with something a little bit different. Um, thought I'd be cheeky and not hit the record button, but of course they have the instant replay system. <laughs> um, 
It's actually looking from my side. That's cool. Um, but I today I am battling good friend uh, Tony from the Hockey Wilderness podcast. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for his Twitter. Be sure to go follow him. Uh, of course, he tweets about hockey stuff, but as well as Pokemon stuff. So if you're interested in both or either, go check him out. Um, of course, the game is going super fast. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to change that on here, but we are we are going through here. My Sun team started off without Sun at all. Um, of course, right here you're taking the energy ball from Gothel, getting one shot. So that's going to spell good things in the future for Hyperior. But this time I didn't bring Charizard Venusaur. Uh, didn't see it in the cards for those two to come out. But of course the rest of the team isn't faring that well either. Uh, one of the harder the things to do with, uh, with Sun teams is get Pokemon that use Sun well. So if you see something where the Sun isn't usable, um, you're just kind of a weird team. Oh, Sun's really hard. I'm not too excited with it, thrilled with it. But I'm, I I know the second the second round I'll be able to slow down a little bit. But this one's just kind of uh, watching me die really fast. So Hydreigon by himself again. Talonflame takes him out. And that is round one went to Tony. Um, of course, his, his team just overwhelmed me. Overwhelmed me. But I'll come back with round two here in just a second. Alright guys, with round two, we are looking from Tony's side, so kind of a different ch a, a change of pace here. Um, I've got it going a little bit slower, so I can actually commentate over it this time. Uh, the last one didn't give me an option to, I don't know. Um, but I, I lead with Charizard and Rhyperior, hoping for that Magnetric to actually hit me with a Thunderbolt, not knowing that Rhyperior has Lightning Rod, um, and then going for the Heat Wave with my Mega Charizard Y. But, unfortunately, he does protect with his Magnetric, and... Uh, Gothitel actually avoids this heat wave coming out of Charizard, so nothing happens to Charizard, or from Charizard, and Gothitel just destroys Rhyperior once again with that energy ball. Um, I I keep forgetting that Gothitel can do that, so I, I let Rhyperior die to the same thing twice. So then comes Brutus, of course this time I'm going a little more sun, um, smog protects, try not to get the Thunderbolt, and actually start setting up Leech Seed, because I'm thinking long game here. Uh, trying to trying to keep Venusaur alive because I know Gothitelle is going to hit it pretty hard with a Psychic type move. And of course, go, does go for Psychic. It uh, does about 55, but after Black Sludge and Leech Seed, uh, Venusaur will be able to take another one. So I actually go to set up the Leech Seed again on on uh, Magnetric, Mega Magnetric there. Of course, Mega Magnetric just destroys Mega Charizard Y. Uh, yeah. Mega Charizard Y is not as great as people think it is. It's better in singles. In doubles, it gets destroyed by almost everything. Electricity, rocks, Talonflame. It's it's not a good place for it. I The loss of Ninetales is really hard for the Sun team. Um, it just can't be used as well. So I go for Protect the Venusaur, try and get some more health off of everybody here. Of course, got the Tail Protects too. Which, uh, Hydreigon actually went for the Dark Pulse on the Gothitelle, so nothing happens there. And Mega Man Netric went for Flamethrower on the Venusaur, so just a wasted turn, but not really wasted because I do get a ton of health off of both Leech Seeds and Black Sludge on Venusaur. So we're back up to 66, able to take another, uh, Psychic. But Gothitelle switches out, which I kind of assumed was going to happen, uh, so I did go for that spot, I believe. Let me, let me see here. Uh, I was thinking probably Scrafty would come in or something, so I actually Giga Drain this, right? I Giga Drain that spot, because I thought Scrafty was going to come in, but it was Gyarados. Does decent damage to Gyarados. Dark Pulse almost takes out Magnetric, and then Magnetric is able to get the Flamethrower off on Venusaur and kill it dead. So no more Leech Seed shenanigans for Venusaur. Sorry, bud. Uh, thinking back on it, I probably could have done better with uh, Trevenant there, but what are you going to do? Now, of course, we're left with just Hydreigon, as last time. Get the Dark Pulse on the Gyarados. Uh, Hidden Power Ice hits us, and unfortunately we do not get the flinch yet again, and Gyarados is able to get that D-Dance. When whenever Gyarados is able to get a Dragon Dance up in doubles, it is a scary thing. So I Dark Pulse, take out the Mega Magnetric. Probably should have went for Gyarados that time, but I didn't, and that Ice Fang coming off Gyarados is just going to destroy High Dragon. Um, either way, Hidden Power Ice or uh, Ice Fang would have killed us. So the game, the two games, does go to Tony, uh which he deserved whole, uh, the whole wholeheartedly. <laughs> His team has made very well. 
Uh, Gothitelle is something to re reckon with, as well as Mega Man Netric. Um, Mega Man Netric is one of those ones I probably should have used on the rain team, but I ended up not. And yeah, I'm just not impressed at all with the Sun team. Uh, although I've used that mix Sun Sand in the Experience Share uh, podcast tournament online invitational. <laughs> um, and I really like that one. I might bring that in the future, like I think I said in the first half. I might bring that towards the end of our lessons, uh, where we start getting off our feet into the actual battles. Because um, I hope we don't stay in lessons forever. We gotta move on to the next part at some point. And I'll, of course, discuss that when we get closer to it. But the series won't stay as lessons of VGC forever. It'll eventually will learn some stuff and be able to actually do stuff. Just like you're not in lessons forever in school. Um, but we aren't there yet. We are still learning, as you can clearly see. But next week, we'll be taking on the challenge of the Hail team, which I'm expecting to be a little more challenging than the Sun team was. Uh, but thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to check out the Experience Share podcast. I will leave a link for them in the description, as well as Tony's. Be sure to check them out. Thank you again, Tony, for actually saving these so that I could uh, do a post-commentary. And... You guys, let me th let me know what you think about post commentary. I know the first one clipped along a little fast. I couldn't; it didn't have a speed uh, selection like this one did. Um, but let me know what you guys think about post commentary. Should I do post commentary over live commentary? Uh, I tend to prefer the live commentary just because you get my initial reactions. But then post commentary, I'm a little more collected. I kind of know what's going on for the most part. But yeah, you guys, let me know in the comment section below. And with that, we will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello everyone, and thanks again for watching the video. If you could, hit that like button right below this video. It really helps out the channel. And you can see that subscribe button right on your screen there. If you want to see more of this kind of content, click right on there, and it will subscribe to this channel. And I also laid out some other videos for you guys to check out. Uh, be sure to click on those, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!